Hey guys, so basically I was today years old when I realized, OMG, I never did a room tour. Slow down, wait, slow down, wait, posing, flex, posing, flex, posing, flex, posing, flex, total, tech, total. So, welcome to my room tour of this room this is my room at my parents house obviously over quarantine everyone had a little bit of extra time so i just did what i always wanted to do and i made my dream room and now i have to pack it up and move it to la <laughs> so i guess we're gonna start here with this louis vuitton grass wall Um, and then I guess you can see the bottom. It has my bean bag. If anyone comes in, a little stool for, well, like a bench. Pillows and a blanket and my hamper. It's so cute. <laughs> but yeah, so I actually made this wall myself. It's super cute. I never even took like a picture in front of it or anything, but just cute to have it looks cute in, in the pictures in this mirror that i have on the door and i really like this like this picture it's a really good reminder to you know bloom where you are don't wait and you come up over here some more flowers blooming my moon sign it lights up but i don't didn't have a flower here but it lights up and another picture then we have over here some string lights and the ivies because you know <laughs> and the wall decals that i bought oh they are so cute i mean love this wall i actually got these wall decals from a girl i'll put her information down and then i bought some paper and i traced more just so it was more but yeah i wanted to keep with the louis theme i just really like the way it looks love me some designer and then my bed this is a weighted blanket 10 out of 10 recommend yeah my bed i didn't really do anything special with my bed just because i was more so focused on the walls oh you come over here i love this you know me <laughs> Yes, so you just have some pictures of me. Cast my candles. And then pictures of my friends and family. And then you come over here and I have, this is my hair basket, my hair cart, a whole bunch of hair products, and then you come over here, this is my everyday use bin right here, like, girl, you know, you gotta have the baby wipes on you, um, my book that I'm reading, gotta have a Morty, love Morty, so yeah, quick view, over here we have Zeus's bed, you know, we love Zeus, keep him close. And then I have, hey guys, my vanity. Yes, my vanity with my fur chair that I made. I made this chair. Uh, it's been through a lot. I made it a couple years ago, but yeah. I also made this vanity with my best friend, <laughs> Yuna. She helped me put this all together. So that was cute. Ah, you see it in its entirety. Look how cute. Oh yeah, I have a lamp there as well. For extra lighting just in case. But look how cute oh, love it but yes as i mentioned before jocelyn drew this cast for me excuse that painting is falling i'm about to take everything down and excuse my dying plant i'm really working on being a better plant mom when i get to california i'm gonna try really hard it's sunlight there sunny nice so hopefully all my plants will survive anyway yes Jocelyn made this for me so so cute and I love all these plants and butterflies and everything over here over here excuse 
use that. Um, this is just my jewelry case. It's really cute. Like gold on one side, silver on the other. Just has like bracelets and rings and earrings. All in here. Keep my sage, my Palo Santo, my candle. Love a good candle. Garbage, money thing. This is the towel for my face and I just hang my bags there. My hair towel, my bath towel. And then we have this side of the room where we started at with the mirror. And so, yeah, I just have my TV, little stuff. That broke, so excuse that, it's kind of janky. But yeah, I keep my clothes there. I have more clothes in there. Keep like masks over there, you know, it's Corona times. Just little trinkets, little stuff that I may need. My TV. <sighs> Disenchantment is a great show. This is a controller. This actually. So I also recommend this, like a light clicker. It's so convenient. I just lay in my bed. Goku TV. Once again, ski rima force my little workout section so i just have the ivies coming down here clearly love a good butterfly but the ivies with butterflies and this is a light that was in my room i tried to like do that whole tiktok thing with the i think it's called polyfill it's like really hard to get up there so you know just imagine the whole thing is covered but yeah i think it's cute um, and this is my super cute side table. I really love this. And I also have colored lights that are struggling right now, but yeah. So yeah, that is my room. I hope you guys like it. Got some inspiration, thought it was cute. And there'll definitely be another room tour when I get to Cali because basically I'm just gonna do like a rendition of this room, but in Cali. So we'll see like how it turns out. All right, thanks for watching guys. It's just cardboard that I cut out those i traced those onto the cardboard painted the cardboard green and hot glue gunned a whole bunch of different green plants and then i got these butterflies from like michael's or something and yeah so i did that <laughs> over and over and over and made this wall hey guys it's kyla so this is going to be an in-depth explanation on how i did the wall so here this is me showing you guys the decals that i use like i said i'll put the link down in the description but what i did was i took gift paper and i traced the decal onto the gift paper as you can see there now you don't necessarily need these decals i just had them because i was also putting them on my wall it just honestly makes it easier when you're tracing because they're raised but you can honestly pull up the print on your computer and trace it there you can print out a piece of paper and trace that you can freehand it you can do whatever works for you the decals just was the easiest option for me now you can trace these with a pencil or a pen it doesn't matter just be careful when you are tracing through the gift paper because it will rip and if it rips then you have to start all over again to get a clean design So the next step is to get your cardboard ready. I found that using one big piece for each design worked the best for me. A little dance break. <laughs> when you guys do this, make sure that you put an extra layer of something underneath the cardboard that you're tracing to prevent anything happening to your surface underneath. So now you guys are going to use whatever marker or sharpie you have and retrace the design you just traced onto the gift paper but do it on top of the cardboard and the ink will then bleed through from the gift paper onto the cardboard and i'm going to show you guys it coming up 
And to cut these out, you can use scissors, but I definitely recommend a box cutter, a metal one. It makes it so much easier to get a clean line around the cardboard. Now, once you're done cutting them out, you just paint them green. So once you've painted each of your cardboard pieces green, the next step is to cut up your shrubs and hot glue gun them onto each piece. This step definitely takes a long time as you'll see in the next clip. You see me cutting and gluing each piece on. So it's definitely time consuming, but it's definitely worth it because the end result is super cute. This next clip is going to show how I outlined my wall actually before I was done with it. So what I did was I looked up a picture on Pinterest of the certain pattern that I wanted and I literally measured each piece and I measured against my wall and then I counted how many I needed so you obviously you don't have to do that that was kind of extra if you have the projector you can just project the design to count how many you need or you can just eyeball it but I just wanted to do this so that way I can know how many that I needed to decorate because the actual decorating process of putting the shrubs on took so long that I didn't want to do any extra work so I just outlined everything on my wall taped them up in the exact position that I wanted them and then I went row by row to actually putting the shrubs on each piece and then going back and hanging them up and clearly this took some time because y'all done seen me in like nine different looks <laughs> but anyway I'm just giving you a close-up here and I'm showing you I'm going row by row and how I actually put them on the wall so what I did was I used command strips I cut one command strip up into either like two or four pieces and I stuck them on the corners of the cardboard and I just stuffed it to the wall I also used mounting tape for some of them and I say they worked the same way it doesn't matter whatever you guys have just stick them on the back and stick them up on the wall okay so here we're getting to the final parts where I do finish the wall this was honestly like one of the most happiest feeling I ever had <laughs> I put so much work into this but besides that um, if you guys are wondering about the materials, so the cardboard boxes, you can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart if you have any type of cardboard laying around. The paint is from Walmart. All of the shrubs and everything I got, I got from Amazon or Walmart. Walmart, they were like a dollar. Amazon, it was like a pack of seven for ten dollars. So just whatever you guys find, I mixed and matched. Just honestly, whatever you can get your hands on for the cheapest price, girl, do what you gotta do, okay? Yay, I am so happy. Here is the final product. The butterflies are from Michaels. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.